I can't wait to get up to the lake. I'm absolutely starved. All I had to eat all day was the Silent Man sandwiches. And they were beautiful, but they were salad. And a man needs meat. <laughs> so when I get up to the lake, I'm going to cook a big lot of meat. What a beautiful place. I drove all the way up here. I won't be fishing here. I just come up here to cook my food and to sleep because it's absolutely so beautiful and 100% safe. You'll never meet a sinner up here, ever. First thing I must do is, of course, put on the frying pan. And we'll put some Italian extra virgin olive oil on the frying pan, a superior category olive oil obtained directly from olives, suitable for vegetarians. That's the lamb on the frying pan. And now I'll put on some beautiful pieces of beef. I won't put it all on, just a small little snack before I head off to bed. And a nice cold beer would help me to sleep. A fine nightcap. Health and safety, make sure your fork is clean. And a good big pinch of salt. Great for the blood pressure and great for your heart. A dash of pepper and a smidgen of the herbs for flavour. I wonder does he know I'm cooking lamb? We'll put in some red hot chili flakes just to give it an extra bit of kick. <laughs> and now to make it into a really healthy meal, some stir fry. And some sweet and sour. Uncle Ben's extra spicy. Perfect. Ah, uh, this is the life. Of course, I forgot my whiskey glass. <coughs> For the chest. Cheers, silent man. Thanks very much. Time to open the top button. Ah, oh, that feels much better. And now it's that time of day just to enjoy a couple of pints and one or two drams. Enjoy the ambience and count my blessings. And tomorrow is another day. I had a great sleep last night and it's a new day. And I'm on my way to meet my friend, the fish, the famous Loch Cran. Look at these three amigos. They must have smelt the lamb cooking last night. Bloody hell, where are they gone to? 
That's unbelievable. Where are they gone? That's unbelievable. The sheep down here in Kerry are very fast movers. <laughs> I know I'll catch up in them again. They're fast, lads. My friend said he'd meet me here. This is where I met him the last time I fished with him. Always remember the golden rule. Lock the gate behind you and keep the farmer happy. Otherwise, you run off the land. I lock the gate. My friend rings me. Where are you? I said, I'm here where we arranged the meet. Did anybody follow you? I said, nobody followed me. Are you sure? I'm in the field on my own. There's no one here. And now he wants me to meet somewhere else. It's very, very strange. Maybe he's in a witness protection program. Maybe. It's possible. There's something strange going on with him. There's nobody that shy. No one's that shy. <laughs> he could be a spy. expecting to see behind me. I get nervous meeting him. He's all cloak and dagger. You won't believe it. When I met my friend, he told me he didn't want me videoing where he kept his boat. So now we're straight out onto the lake. Very strange, but he does make a lovely cheese and ham sandwich. And I promise you, I am in the boat with another angler, my friend. He's not an imaginary friend, he really does exist. I promise you. One for me and one for him. Finally, the slightest little breeze came onto the lake and I was instantly into a fight sack that my friend led for me. Hey! I have a very diverse group of friends. The silent man, the honest fisherman and the shy man and even me, the mad fisherman. Next time I'll be fishing with <laughs> the confident fisherman. Or the laughing fisherman, who knows? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Until my next video, be happy, get out there and catch a fish. See ya, good luck! How's it going, chops? I like chops.
I haven't seen him for a while.